The transfer asset flow starts with using the web client. The equipment manager creates a filter, searches for assets, and then schedules these assets for transfer. The field worker uses the mobile device locates, scans, moves, and completes a transfer. Log into Trimble Asset Manager. Select Manage Assets and the Assets menu. We need to create a filter, so let's see if we have one since we want to transfer backhoe buckets. Let's select Backhoe Buckets. And we know that we're looking for certain assets, so we'll scroll down and we want three different um, buckets since we have three different machines on the site. So let's take BHB 94L and let's look at, because that one's a cat, and then let's go ahead and take 101.3 because that's a Wainroy, and then also the 101L because that is, um, that's a Boulderson. So we've got three different assets. Let's scroll down now um, and let's do show on map. So now we get the map view. Let's add all the layers, scroll up a little bit, and clicking on the asset numbers displays the assets. Now let's just tap on the map icon and we can see, yes, that's one of the assets um, that I wanted and I can tell that's a Wainwright bucket. Let's go ahead and close that and click on the next one. Um, and I can tell that that's a different one as well. All right, so we're good there. And last but not least is the third one, and that one should be applicable to a cat machine. So it looks like we've found the three assets that we want. Let's scroll back up, and we're going to select Transfer Assets. The priority is medium. We could set it to be high to low, and you can see that we're taking it from the Littleton Pad project. So over to the right, we'll select the new job site. King Supers, and we're going to assign it to Truck 2. Now click Accept. It's going to accept the transfers and take us to the um, Transfer Asset screen. Let's select Truck 2, and we'll see that here's the three assets that we have elected to transfer. And you notice that each one is in a pending state. The other statuses are in progress. That's only going to change once the asset's been scanned and picked up by the driver from the first site. And it will change to be complete once the asset's been moved to the King Super site and scanned again. So now let's become the field worker and take a look at that workflow. In the field, the first thing we'll do is sync to bring down the office changes. Once it's finished syncing, we'll get the successful synced completed. Now we're going to tap Transfer Assets, and we'll tap the Filters tab. And then from our Filters selection, let's go select Assignment Type and Truck um, 2. Now we'll tap the map view to locate the asset and to scan the tag. And you can see that we're still a little bit of distance away from it. As you work towards that asset, you will get closer and closer in the red circle. We'll get around the asset. Let's tap the list view and tap transfer. The first asset has now been changed to in progress. Select OK and go to the second asset. The second asset has been located, transferred, scanned, and found. We'll do the last one. The last asset has been found. We'll click OK and back to the main screen. Now before we drive to the next site, let's go ahead and sync the work and then when we get to the next site, we will complete the transfer, scan, and finish. Now I'm the equipment manager again using the office tool, and I want to check on the progress of that transfer. I'll go to Manage Transfers, Active, I believe it was Truck 2, and I now see that the status has changed to be in progress. 
knowing that the assets have been picked up from the first job site. I'll continue to do other work and eventually come back and check on the statuses again to find out when the asset transfers are completed. So let's go ahead and check on Manage Transfers and see if the assets are finished transferred. Select Truck 2 again, and you'll notice that now all three are in a status of complete. So now, as the Equipment Manager, I can go ahead and archive these transfers for later review, successfully updated. If I ever want to see the archives, I can go to Manage Transfers, History, and I can see all the transfers um, that have been done. Selecting on the site, or most often, the assignment type of who was transferring what. And I can see the most recent transfers. That brings us to the end of this session. Please continue on with other training videos.